psychologist who painted, and she said to me, you know, I send a lot of patients to you. I said, really? She said, yeah, um, I handle a lot of divorcing couples, and I've got dad doesn't know what to do with his daughter on a Saturday afternoon. She says, take him to paint the earth. My wife, Carol, first experienced this in Portland, Oregon. We came back to Los Angeles, where we were living at the time, and we found that there were other shops like that in our area, and we went and enjoyed it at the local Paint It Yourself ceramic studio near us. We were hooked, just loved it. And we knew shortly we were going to be moving. We thought this might be a fun thing for us to do, and we were surprised to find that nobody was doing it here. We started to look into what it would take to open that kind of business. That was about 11 years ago. This was an opportunity to, to do what many would consider the, the fun part of ceramics without the messy part. And all that trying and failing that happens with a lot of ceramic work. Customer will select a piece, maybe go through the idea books. We have a whole table full of patterns and images and pictures of other pieces of bisque. They get an idea what they want to paint or what they want this piece to look like when it's all done. And then they get their paints and apply the paint in any number of ways and paint for an hour or so. And leave it with us for, uh, for a few days and we glaze it and fire it and it's ready for you to pick up. And what happens in between is that the paint has to thoroughly dry, then a glaze is applied. This is a largely powdered glass in suspension. We used to brush that on everywhere. Now we actually dip the piece into glaze and allow that to thoroughly dry. And then we load it in the kiln. Now the kiln is like a giant toaster oven. We take it to uh, about 1850 or so Fahrenheit. Takes about 24 hours from beginning to end. And when it comes out, it's totally functional. You can, you know, tea in the teapots, coffee in the coffee cups, cereal in the bowls, and so on. Her first Mother's Day gift to me was made here. It's a mug with her hand prints on it. She was nine months old. I see a lot of people come in and, you know, whether they're with them, you know, by themselves or with other people, they come in and they really seem to just have a nice, relaxed time. They'll spend hours here painting and putting a lot into it, and then you know, come back and have the end result and have something they can take home, and I created this. I think that's another um, thing that they're tapping into their artistic part of their brain. We've seen it work wonders. It's therapeutic. It's a hard experience to explain, but a lot more is going on for me on the inside perhaps more valuable than the bowl I'm working on. And the first piece I worked on, it wasn't a cheap bowl, but it was mine, and I still have it, and I feel good every time I look at it. <laughs>